What's up everybody, AMR is here, back for some more Judgment gameplay. Uh, let's try to recap exactly uh, what happened. What's the last session we did? Who refought the last session? Oh, last session, obviously Shintani knew um, something's up with the mole. Uh, we were trying to notify him, give him a heads up, you know, kind of like, hey, watch out. At the end, uh, Shintani died. He was in our office when he died. He was actually shoved into our closet. And um, pretty much his eyes was gouged, which pretty much makes it look like, I would say that we did it. S make it look like we did it. I think that's what's gonna happen next. So that's where we left off. Shintani got murdered. So, which is, which is crazy. Uh, I didn't see it. I guess I kind of see it coming, but at the same time, I was kind of—I didn't—I didn't think he was gonna die this soon, you know. But he did. So now we're going on. We're going to chapter five. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and see where this is uh, leading us to. Previously, the Tojo Clan is struck by Kyure Clan gunfire. Kamarocho's disarray only spreads wider. On the surface, the diagram resembles a Yakuza turf war. But in the shadows are glimpses of a construction firm and political influence. And in Yagami's own shadow, the mole's sharp claws claim yet another victim. Shintani right there. Chapter 5, Days Gone By. I mean, the office is going to be in, in shock. They're going to be like, what, well, what happened? You know? What do you mean he's dead? Didn't you just say everything would be okay? <laughs> Stay calm, sorry, son. I'm just as shocked as you. But I think the mole is responsible. Have you contacted the police? No, not yet. You should do that right away then. Do you think you could make the call, sorry son? What? I need time to check things out before the cops show up and take over. Please. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Gotta check it out. Probably gotta do a little investigation, see what happened. Um. The mole got his ass. Mole got us. Oh, got you, I should say. The mole got you. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Investigate the Shintani. Okay. His eye are gouged out, same as all the mole other victims, true. I hear I hear I hear a cat. Every time every time you do this type of thing, you uh I hear the cats this way. But obviously I don't freaking see a cat. I won't imagine a cat would be here anyway. But I hear a cat. Okay, let's see. Hey. Let's see. A bullet hole. That must be the case of death, but that's not the most usual. Hmm. It was going off when I caught him earlier, so it's definitely on his body. Quickest way to find it will call it again. The ringtone, lead me straight to it. Alright, here we go. His pocket. Closely see where it's coming from. His pocket. There it is. There it is. Shintani phone, I should take a closer look. Uh, investigation is complete. But I keep hearing a damn cat. To get some, oh, I gotta go here, right? I forgot. I forgot I could look around. Uh, there you go. There you go, black cat. That should be good. Damn, the mole. The mole usually don't shoot people, so in this case, he shoot them. His call history should tell me everything I need to know. Should we even touch the phone by now? I don't know. 
Fingerprints. Oh, genius. There you go. He has password. Guarantee you can't unlock what he has password if it's in real life. Well, most of these are Genda office. All of them except the last number he called. Huh. Shitani calls it just a few hours before his death. Who was he talking to? There it goes. They're gonna, they're gonna ask us questions. You, you damn well know it. Hey, Bick, we're under arrest. Guarantee you that's what's gonna happen. They're gonna question us. We received a call from the Genda Law Office. You got here fast, Detective Kuroiwa. He doesn't like us. <laughs> Shintani, huh? Yeah. His name has been coming up a lot lately. He's the reason Hamura walked, after all. <laughs> Perhaps you couldn't stand his newfound fame so you often. Huh? I heard you two weren't exactly on good terms. So, here you go. Do you greet everyone by accusing them of murder? Guess that's just how cops like you operate. Forensics will be here soon. We will need you present as a resident of the property. After that, we'll need some time to investigate. How long? You'll have to find somewhere else to stay tonight at the very least. I don't have money for that. Yet you can afford bribing a cop. Hayabe's sources aren't even that reliable. Don't know what you mean. Oh, I'm sure you do. He's he know he knows Ayabai. He knows. Oh, he knows. Where are we gonna stay at the meantime? Yeah, sorry. I had to wait around for the cops to get here. Is Genda Sensei still at the office? Yes. He wants to talk to you about Shintani. As do I. Hoshino too. Okay, I'll head over now. See you soon. Time to go to the Gende office. Oh, okay. Time to head to the office. Look at that. We're in here. I know you've had a rough night, Yagami. Absolutely. But if you're up to it, can you tell us what happened to Shintani? Yeah. Now I hope this one here is gonna be like voice over, not me have to read the whole damn thing. Sorry, son was having trouble getting in touch with Shintani, so I decided to give him a call myself, see what the deal was. But when I dialed him up, I heard the phone ringing in my closet. Shintani was killed the same way as all the others. The others? Do you mean his eyes were... Yep. Gouged out, yeah. But Shintani's beef was with the Kyore clan. Why would the mole target him? I'm not so sure. It sounded like he knew something when you talked earlier. Oh, he was hiding something, I'll tell you that much. He was hiding think something. this is some kind of Yakuza pissing contest, do you? Come on. The mole is way bigger than you know. He probably knew more about the mole than I did. And his source had to have been Hamra. Maybe they killed him to keep their secret safe. But uh, why did he have to put Shintani Sensei's body in your office? To frame me. Not sure. Maybe to harass me, maybe to scare me off their trail, <laughs> maybe both. Yagami, hmm? you might want to lay low for a bit. It's not safe for you here. Get out of town, go somewhere quiet. If the mole comes after you next. Right, I'll do just that, Genda Sensei. You know, I watched over Shintani since his first day as a lawyer. Kid had a good head on his shoulders, and a knack for the job I could never compete with. But he didn't have the guts to succeed when push came to shove. Not the most persistent lawyer I've seen. Even so, he looked up to me. 
Guess I took it for granted. Thought he'd always be part of the team. When I first joined, Shintani Sensei was the one who showed me the ropes. He was a reliable man. Went from being the ropes to being some sort of kind of shady to now being Thanks dead. For this, Yagami. Come on, Sorry, Miss come. I'll walk you to the station. Sure. Feel free to stay here tonight, Yagami. <laughs> I appreciate it. What about you, Hoshinokun? I think I'll work a little more before I head home. <sighs> if you say so. Good night. G night. Good night, boss. All right. Rest up. Guess we go talk to you. Make yourself at home, Yagami-san. I'll leave you the key. You've been here way longer anyway. You deserve it more than me. <laughs> I used to be working here. Remember, used to. Not no more. Not no more. The hell did I sleep? Oh, there uh, Yagami-san, do you have a minute? Uh, yeah. What sure. are we talking about? What's up? Well, it's about Shintani Sensei. Mm -hmm. Yagami san, I know you just told Genda Sensei you're gonna lay low, but that's not true, is it? You want to keep hunting down this killer? Hell yeah. And if I said yes? Don't worry, I won't tell Genda Sensei. But in return. Hmm? I want to help you. Look for the mole, that is. I won't slow you down. I promise. Looking to avenge Shintani, huh? <sighs> he wasn't as strong as he let on. The tough guy act was a mask he wore to hide his insecurities. Deep down, he was just weak. That's why he was going along with Hamura, not because he wanted to. I mean, who can say no to a Yakuza? And now look how it turned out. I was sitting right next to him this whole time. Yet there was nothing I could do to help. You know, I'm still young. I don't even know what kind of lawyer I want to be. Criminal? Civil? Not the slightest idea. But I know one thing. I don't want to be the kind of lawyer who sits on his hands after his friend gets murdered. Oh, you want to do means... something about it, huh? Are you sure about this, Hoshino? Genda Sensei told me to lay low. If you're seen helping me... Don't worry about that. I'll defend myself in court if I need to. Now, Yagami-san, do you mind if I tag along? <laughs> You'll just tell Genda Sensei if I refuse, huh? Yeah, you got that right. So you gonna blackmail me, you Not fool? Much choice then. Welcome aboard. Glad to be working with you. Well, let's get down to business. First off, I want to know what Shintani was doing before he died. And I have some evidence that may tell us just that. Took a picture of the phone. Um, I don't know that works, but this phone here. Shintani dialed this number earlier today. I want to know where it goes. Right, that makes sense. It's a good thing the killer forgot to take Shintani's phone, huh? This way we can see who he was calling. Maybe they let the phone on purpose. The killer didn't forget. Even if the phone was gone, we'd still be able to get Shintani's data from his provider. Really? I had no idea. Yep. I bet he left the phone so I'd find the body quicker. There you huh? go. I mean, he went through the trouble of hiding it in my office of all places. Probably wanted to cause as much chaos as possible, you know? Hey, the number got a hit in the search. It's apparently for the uh, Advanced Drug Development Center. What the hell? What, hmm. do you know it? Three years ago, there was a pretty famous murder there. A patient was killed, and their body dumped in the mountains. And the man they arrested for it was named Shinpei Okubo. Shinpei Okubo, the guy that Okubo, I fro Okubo. Is that the guy he, that he was your client? Yeah, wasn't he? Yep. He worked as a contract laundry man for the center. Every two or three days, he'd stop by to pick up their dirty linens. 
According to the police report, it was thought he carried the body out in a bundle of sheets. Right. And you defended him in court and won. But then he... he got free and... You can stop there. <laughs> yep. But why would Shintani-sensei have called the ADDC? Who would he even talk to? I bet we'll find out if we No, Okobo was in jail, right? But, it's getting Yeah. Late. You should go home. We both need some shut-eye, eh? Yeah, we can start fresh tomorrow. Where do we want to meet? Oh, right. <laughs> we want to keep this a secret from Genda sensei after all. There's an arcade called Charles up on Park Boulevard. That should work for now. Okay. Arcade. I'll is that where... No. Is that where, yeah. um... Thanks. The guy was at, wherever his name yeah. was? I'll see you. You're gonna just leave your laptop there? I guess so. Just gonna leave your laptop. <sighs> Time to rest up, which is... Oh, God. Kim! Apparently, the uh, Cajun gang leader up and left town, but that doesn't change the fact that he injured a lot of good people, including some of my dearest friend. I thought you were going to teach them a lesson. Who it gives? Man, shut up. I'm resting up. I don't give a damn. I don't have time to be fighting people. Are you kidding me? Well, I do, but... Me and Charles today. Guess it's time to head over. Which is not going to be smooth when we head over there. I'll tell you that much. Down to the game. There you are. <laughs> What's up, man? Sagira. Kaito san told me you'd be here. Don't forget about me next time, yeah? Oh, shit, no. Nope. Wish you'd fucking forget about me. <laughs> Is there a reason your little gang needs to keep meeting up here? <laughs> it's so nice of you to let us use your store, Higashi-san. Especially when you're clearly so opposed to the idea. <laughs> Don't talk down to Yakuza, kid. <laughs> it's okay, Higashi-san. I think we all know you're nicer than you let on. What the hell? <laughs> Damn, and you're braver than you look, Hoshino-kun. You got the skills to back it up? Just a third degree black belt. Huh. <laughs> He's like, huh? Not that I've ever had to use it. <laughs> well, I'll call this meeting to order. Sure. I'll do the honors. Tell us the plan. What do we got? What do we got here? Masamichi Shintani of the Genda Law Office has been murdered. Given that his eyes were gouged out, it's likely the mole was responsible. And I'll need all of your help to track him down. The ADDC, huh? Weird time for that to come up again. Yep. <laughs> again? It's come up before? We can talk about that later. What's important now is Shintani called them before he was killed. I don't get it. What's the connection between Shintani and ADDC? Hmm. I think I remember them being in the news a lot last year. Something about a new drug that could win a Nobel Prize. Yeah, here it is. The ADDC's research into AD9 has now been published in one of the world's leading scientific magazines. Leading to the gathering of reporters from both Japan and abroad that we have here today. It's a brand new dementia drug. They call it AD9. This was right after Director Kido from the ADDC published his paper on it. They're still undergoing clinical trials on larger animals, but apparently every single mouse they've given it to has made a full recovery. Now with the Okay. The man giving the presentation here is Dr. Ryusuke Kido, a world leader in neurophysiology and the primary researcher on AD9. He's the one who showed me around the center when I was looking into Okubo's case. Guess he's been the director for a while now. From what I can tell, the Ministry of Health is increasing the ADDC's budget to hasten the development of AD9. They're even adding another building to the center. It's a huge project. <laughs> Damn good deal they've got. I'm still not getting it, though. Why Shintani go and call them? 
That's what we're about to find out. And there's only one way to do that. Come on! Can't just take a man's phone. <laughs> First off, we'll need to figure out who Shintani was calling. Yeah, but how are we gonna do that over the phone? I suppose that all depends on your acting skills, Detective Yagami. <laughs> Using his phone instead to call. I just forgot who he called and why. ADDC, front desk speaking. Hi there, ma'am. This is... No one's suspicious. Yagami detective. Yagami a lawyer. Shintani a lawyer. Huh. No one's suspicious. Huh. What, what, which one should I pick? Shintani a lawyer? No, he died. Yagami a lawyer. No one. Suspicious. Mmm. You speak with no one suspicious. Yeah, Sintani, a lawyer. Y'all can be a lawyer? Y'all can be a detective? Oh man, which one should I pick? I don't know. No one suspicious. Let's do that one. Well, who I am doesn't matter. Huh? But anyway, uh, I think a lawyer named Shintani called your office yesterday. Crap. I was wondering I messed if you up. connect me with whoever he spoke to. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. It's in violation of our personal information policy. Well, the truth is, Shintani-san passed away yesterday. This is the last number he dialed, so I'm calling to ask about him. Are you with the police? You're not, are you? Uh, well, not exactly. Yeah. I, you know what? I'll try back later. <laughs> No way this happens over the phone. It'll be faster to just head over there myself. You think that's gonna work? Not sure, but I know the director, remember? Worst case scenario, I come back empty-handed. I'll come with you, Yagami-san. Okay, me and Agashi will go check out what's going on with the Matsugane family. Shouldn't be tough with Hamura out of the picture. Hey, I don't remember saying I was gonna help you. By the way, Yagami-san, Whatever happened to that guy from three years ago? Shinpei Okubo. He's in the detention center. Been there since they gave him his death sentence. Have you ever gone to see him, Yagami-san? No. Why would I? Why do you ask, anyway? They're linked up together, maybe? I don't know. I was wondering what he was like. The case got tons of news coverage, you know. Oh. I was also wondering what you thought about the case. I mean, did you really think that he was innocent? Probably. But then he walked. Killed his girlfriend. You defended him for that too, yeah? Did Okpo send ask me to... I did. Okpo asked me to after he murdered uh, Michan in cold blood. Yeah. Did you believe him then, too? He kept saying the same thing. How he could never have killed anyone. But... I didn't believe him, no. Fighting for him in court made me sick to my stomach. Do you think he deserves the death penalty? That's enough of the question, Sugiura. <laughs> well, my bad. Was that too far? <laughs> nah. If you say so. Um, Yagami-san? You're heading to the ADDC now, yes? I'm gonna grab a taxi for us. I'll wait for you over on Park Boulevard. It's all you go to this arcade, it's always like a dead arcade, like nobody's there. How's this place even open? You go, it's very, a very sus arcade place. 